Ever wondered if the repository pattern can truly abstract away the data storage implementation details in a real project? Let's find out how easy or hard it really is. Let's begin by looking at the current setup of the project. Here's the interface of the repository. And this is the current implementation, which uses the file system for storage. This repository serves a web application that functions like a wiki. Instead of automatically creating links between text-based pages, this application automatically creates links between SVG graphics. You can learn more about this application from my previous videos. Now let's explore how easy it will be to replace the existing file system document store with an alternative implementation that uses SQLite and Dapper for storage. We start by adding the necessary NuGet packages. We install Microsoft Data SQLite to create and connect to a SQLite database. We then install Dapper, a simple and fast object mapper. Next we will create a new class called SQLite Document Store that implements iDocument Store. We start the implementation by building a connection string, which we will need to connect to the SQLite database. We then add an init method, which creates and initializes the database if it does not exist yet. For now, we will use a simple schema with only a single table called pages. Each page has a name, content and a collection of captions. With the schema in place, let's implement the first API of iDocument Store, which will be get page names. The implementation will be straightforward. We just need a simple SQL statement to fetch all page names and we will use Dapper's execute method to run the query. Next we will implement the save API using a simple insert statement that includes an implicit update in case a page with a given name already exists in the table. By default Dapper doesn't know how to map the captions property, which is a collection of strings, to the captions column of the pages table, which is a single string. To solve this, Dapper supports custom type handlers. We implement one that uses JSON serialization to convert the collection of strings to a JSON document and vice versa. With our custom type handler in place, implementing the get page API is straightforward. We will finish the implementation of the SQLite document store by implementing the clear API. Finally, we need to integrate the new SQLite document store in our application. Therefore, we change the composition of the application in the program CS. We will automatically convert existing data from the old repository to the new one if it is available. When we run the application, we can see that the existing data is converted and that the application is fully functional. We achieved this without changing any existing functionality, which shows that the repository pattern allows easy swapping of data storage technology. However, the key principle that makes this work smoothly is the dependency inversion principle, which I explain in depth in this video.